What is up everyone? Hey, my name's Bill, aka Billy Goat. Today is March 25th, 2023, and I wanted to give a update on our 2023 Hustler Surfer Pro 34. <laughs> Here it is Saturday morning. I'm out here in the shop. It's been raining uh, for the last day or so. So hopefully things will start clearing up and we can get back out uh, early next week and finalize the uh, spring cleanup so we can do start our official mowing routes uh, the beginning of uh, the first week of uh, April. So been out here uh, looking over Michelle's mower. Uh, this mower hasn't cut one blade of grass yet, but been kind of just making sure everything's ready to go. So, um, the last uh, three videos I've done, I appreciate all the comments and questions and uh, emails that I've gotten on this mower. And I've been wanting to uh, do a kind of a quick update of uh, what I've done to the mower since the, the last video. The first thing I did was uh, after installing the motorized shoot blocker, I ended up uh, modifying it a little bit. And the reason why I did that was mainly for Michelle because when she's up on the, uh, you know, the the platform here, it's kind of hard to tell if what position the the uh, shoot blocker is if it's open or closed, and if you you know, if you're hitting your button here the way I have it, when you hit out, it actually opens up the chute. And then when you hit in, it closes the chute. Now, it's kind of hard to see it from this angle. So, I actually ended up, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, with, with these type of things, you should have a fuse in there. So, there is a fuse and I did, I did pop the fuse uh, because I wasn't sure um, if it was open or closed. So... So what I did was, and I know Michelle's going to have some problems or possibly have some problems with this. So if you're, if you're holding in the button too long, it won't blow the fuse. And the, what I did was I actually ended up adding limit switches onto the uh, motor here. From this angle here, it's a little hard to see exactly what I did to install these limit switches. But there are switches down here. Uh, for the upper and lower so as as we open and close the chute it hits those limit switches I made the mounting plate for the switches from the metal that was left over from the actual flap the metal flap that I use for for the chute blocker so and I didn't want to just uh, cut it and put it in there uh, hoping, you know, because this was a, a prototype type of thing and I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work and I didn't want to, you know, waste the metal and then have to end up buying another piece of metal. So, um, I was doing some uh, brainstorming and I came up with uh, this compact disc if, for your old schoolers out there. CompUSA comes to the rescue, you know, 20 years later. I uh, used this as my template to uh you know initially you know use as my prototype to see if uh, this would even work so what i initially did was i took a a hole saw and drilled out the center of the disc here and then i was able to match up you know put in for the holes for the uh, mounting this is the the mounting screws here and i was able to use that um, to mount it and then from there, that way, the uh, this piece here is a uh, a half inch to a three eighths reducer, and that would fit through there like that. And then from there, I was able to you know mount the uh, limit switches. And from there, I was able to I used a, a hose clamp and put the hose clamp. Uh, on here on the um, reducer here and then as this thing turns it hits the switch 
and I put that on both sides. So the mounting, if you look here on the uh, template, I got the mounting uh, holes for that. So now this template I can use if I want to install this on a, on my skag if I want to, uh, or if I you know make this kit for uh, you know someone else. I already have a, a template to uh, you know make another plate if if need be. As far as the wiring for the switches, I ended up using, I tapped into the open and close uh, circuit of the switch instead of wiring it to the motor side. Now the motor side has a, a positive and negative and that's what changes the direction. It uses uh, reverse uh, uh, polarity so that the minus switches to a positive and, and you know goes back and forth and that depends on the positive negative. Uh, for the direction of, of the motor. Now, if I did use the, the motor side, I would have had to put uh, diodes uh, onto the, um, the switches here, which I wasn't sure if this was going to work initially. And with the diodes, I uh, wasn't sure the, the amperage it could hold for something like this. So I just went on the easier route and just went through the uh, switch itself. So it seems to be working fine, and as far as a prototype, I think this uh, will do fine. And if for some reason it, this doesn't work, I did put in a quick disconnect on the uh, harness side, so I can easily just dis disconnect that, and it'll go back to the to the original setup. So that's it for that. All right, the second thing I'd like to talk about is installing a mulch kit now. Looking in here, uh, inside the deck, you don't see the uh, mulch kit installed yet. I was hoping, since it's been raining, I could go to my dealer and pick up uh, the mulch kit that I ordered uh, over a week ago. And I ordered the mulch kit and I ordered a set of uh, stock blades as well, but the stock blades aren't in stock yet. And I didn't want to, you know, waste a, a half an hour trip to, uh, you know, just to go get the mulch kit. Uh, and then I'd have to come back and get the, uh, you know, the blades at a later time. And I also ordered a, that's the second thing. I, um, like you said, when I get the mulch kit in, I'll do a video installing the mulch kit. And hopefully that will uh, work really well uh, on this mower. But we won't know until, until we get mowing. So, and then the third thing I want to talk about. There's a spring here uh, for the hydros, the tensioner for the hydros, uh, the belt. There's a spring here, and I've had, I've watched, uh, if you're familiar with uh, I Cut Grass LLC, he also has a, a Hustler Surfer Pro, and within three hours, I believe, his spring uh, broke. And then I've also had comment from another subscriber saying after an hour, their spring broke so i went ahead and ordered uh, a spring from the dealer just to have just in case if this is some kind of um you know manufacturer you know issue or not i'm not sure but for a ten dollar spring i don't want to be down for you know possibly several days if uh, you know waiting for the dealer to get the spring in so i'll at least have one on hand just in case Actually, there's a fourth thing I want to touch base on real quick, and that's the sensor for the platform here. When you step on the platform, there is a, a switch. So that operator present switch. And I realized uh, that that wasn't uh, engaging. So if you stepped off the mower, uh, the engine would not shut off if you were trying to uh, you know move forward so what I end up having to do it's it, you can't really see it but these two screws here you can slide the sensor back and forth and I ended up uh, moving the sensor all the way uh, in this direction so you can you can kind of hear the the clicking there that's the sensor uh, activating so I had to end up uh, adjusting that so and it's a safety fee feature it's there's uh, pros and cons with it the only cons is if you're like on a hill or you're 
you know putting the mower up on a trailer and you don't want to be on the platform that the mower will not move it will actually shut off when you're trying to you know go forward or reverse so i'm not sure um you know if that's going to be a problem with us but i don't know we, we'll see once uh once we get out there and, and uh, start using this on a on a daily basis all right that's it for this video here We'll give a, probably another uh, update, probably, hopefully, uh, in the next two weeks, uh, once we get a few hours on this mower, you know, out there, you know, mowing on a regular basis. And, you know, initially, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for Michelle. This is her primary mower uh, that she'll be using on, on medium-sized yards. She'll continue to use her uh, Time Masters uh, on, for the smaller yards, but hopefully this will help uh greatly in in wear and tear on her body you know you know walking those bigger yards so we'll see uh how it goes and um hoping that uh you know this thing little thing is uh you know productive for for what it is and, and does her well now as far as the yards that i typically mow i'll continue to use uh, my skag so um, I really like the the skag. I'm just more of an old school walk behind kind of kind of person. So Michelle's looking uh, pretty excited uh, to get you know mowing and uh, you know getting used to this mower. So hopefully it'll like you say hopefully it'll do her well. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll check you out in the next video. <laughs>